Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Transformers Generations, part of the Prime series, and this is the leader class of the Prime, of course, in his uh, famous uh, G1 or March uh, representation. And of course, uh, a product. This is one of the most anticipated uh, figure, for my opinion. Most people is talking about like uh, the sticker is not uh, uh, on the right. Uh, Place maybe mis misplacing, and the rim is no colors, and a lot of cables at the back for this truck here. Even though for the trailers, there's a lot of cables popping out, and there's uh, too much gapping for both modes. But for myself, I uh, of course you can see it. I repaint, repainted the rim for silver, and. I would. I took these uh, stickers off and I re replaced it back slowly, so it's look much more better and more okay. Of course, and uh, without further ado, let's uh, take a look at him now. For the truck mode here, actually, I uh, transform it uh, like so because uh, most people that's transforming the truck like this okay let's do it something like this but it's for myself it's a little bit odd it's too bulky for the side here and for comparison you can see it this is a mix master you can see that here it's a little bit more bulky for for myself i do this you can see there's a gap here and there's a tab over here, okay. You can see I just tap it in. Okay, so you can do this. Okay. So after you tap it in, you can see this uh death mode in this is like uh the back uh, of the of the truck here. There's something here molded here, and this is uh smokestacks also they molded in. So it look more streamlined and aesthetic is much better. You compare it now again. You can see this here. Okay. Alright. Uh, of course this truck here is uh, came with the uh, you can see the gap as well over here. A lot of gaps, empty gaps here and there. So what can you do? And for this truck here, you can see we have a matrix of leaderships I painted the matrix as well the the center part here in gold colors I'm using this Gundam marker gold colors and the silver for the rim okay you can do so if you want to very easy so without further ado let's uh, transform him and before that I want to show you all here okay uh, you can you can see this stuff uh, this is a trailer, right? A trailer, of course, it will it can store some vehicles or goods on the back here. So most people that's maybe they forgot about it, but you can do it actually. Just open the back, this leg section here. Just pop it off like so. Slowly, you can store any Legion class size. So this is a Dino from the Age of Extinction, if I'm not wrong. You can store it back here. Can see it and then close it back for your storage. Why not? You can do so. Then you can okay. And without further ado, let's uh, transform uh, the truck first. This is become the Orient Packs. Very easy transformation. Uh, first of all, release the tab at this side here. Release it. Okay and uh, tap it in and bring it to the front release here tap it bring it to the front and there you go finish and for the hand section just remove it turn it bring it to the front as well tap it in release the hand okay twist it same goal with this side here, twist, twist it and uh, bring up the hands. 
Okay. Alright, I'm doing it wrongly. So we're supposed to be in the front here. And then you can see the Optimus Prime is uh, upside down here. You release the tab for this section here. Pick in. And uh, just tap it in. And tap it at the side here. The behind this section. Right? And that you release the leg section. Okay, for this section here, uh, I saw a lot, of, a lot of you transform this about here, you just put it like that, but don't do it because it's supposed to be go do like this in front. Otherwise, this thing gonna be torn, alright, and it's gonna be uh, uh, damaged if you're not doing it right. Turn the leg here, pick up this, the feet, there you go, this is Orion Pax in his uh, glory and make that make it perfect first okay this is a uh, very very cartoon accurate and uh, for my opinion and it's a good figure but uh, of course you have a lot of kick gaps as well you can see the leg section as i mentioned just now and you have a very very big uh, chest at the back here so what can you do and uh, let's do a size comparison. Before that, the uh, articulations, the head can go a little bit up and down. 360, of course, the hand can go 360. Uh, double jointed elbow due to transformation, bicep swivel, no nothing on the hands here, no waist swivel. The leg can go all the way to the side here, a bit hindered by this tap here. Uh, very full on the front, uh, the back like so, 90 on the uh, angle, okay nothing on the legs here, this one can turn in and out due to transformation, okay let's do a size comparison, okay first of all I bring out the, this perceptor from the generation line as well, you can see it's uh, slightly taller than uh, the deluxe class. Okay, like so it's slightly taller. And uh, let's bring out this uh, Springer. Because Springer is uh, is uh, taller than uh, Orient Pax here. Yeah? So conclusion is this is slightly smaller than the Voyager class, but uh, a bit bigger than the little class, uh, the last class here. Okay. So the hands here, you can actually you can store the gun. <coughs> you can see the gun here. You can store the gun here. You just separate it. You can store it in the both hand there. Why not? So, uh, for the real, let's uh, transform this uh, trailer here as well. Okay. So first of all, you have to release the tab over here. Release it for the both side, and this one as well. You release it. Okay, and bring the hands and the back here. Release the tab at the torso as well. Just wiggle a little bit. Uh, okay, bring out the guns area. Wiggle a little bit. Okay, like so. So you can take out the guns for all and packs. Okay, as I mentioned. So you can do it like this. And the other one, you can do it like this as well. So we have to go both gun handling. Okay, just put aside here first. Okay, Let's continue this transformation and release the tie on the leg here. Just bring out the the small feather first. So bring out the small feather here first. Okay, let's put aside and uh, release the tab on the leg section here. It's pretty much easy. Release it. So get the hands out of the way. 
So the leg as well, the turn it for the leg section here. Our end pegs. Very easy actually. We have to push it until you hit a small soft click sound. You can hear it. So most people they forgot about this as well. Same go with this one, small click sound and for the leg cable here. Just turn it, make sure you make this straight forward. Close this gap here, then turn it all the way back. And you can see a tap here at a gap inside there. You just tap it in. Just tap it in like so, very easy. Same goes with this side here. Straighten it up. Close this down. Turn all the way to the back here and, and uh, tap it in. That's it. Alright, it's pretty much done the leg section. For the hand section, it's rather easy as well. Let me uh, just sit top here. Alright, for the top section, it's easy, very easy as well. You just turn it all the way up, you go down like so. And then close the tab here, bring out the smokestacks. Alright, and uh, okay, close the tab here, and then turn it at the back. Just tap it in, tap it in, and this side here, you have to tap it at the shoulder as well. Just tap it in, and for this side here. You have to tap it in as well here. Okay, there's a gap in the tab. You just until you hear a small click sound. Same goes with this side there. Okay, turn it down, push it, bring it down like so. Turn it. All right, close this back. Bring out the smokestacks. Okay, tap it in. And for this hand here, yeah. Tap it in as well, so it's uh, pretty much done for the body section. So, without further ado, let's uh, transform our end packs into this body here. It's much easy. Let's remove the guns here, remove the guns, put the side first. Okay, uh, close the hand, close the hand. Alright, uh, before that, you have to open this up and bring out Optimus Prime head. Okay, and close this back up with Orient Pack's head here. So the hands are gonna be like so, there's nothing going on this side there. And for the leg section, close this here. If I turn it, I turn this here and I tap it in. As a gap here, that just tap here, just tap it in like so. I turn it and bring it up there and uh, tap it in. It's very much easy. Then it's done. It's time to bring it in it. Uh, okay, before that almost forgot this one here you know there's a joint between the truck and the trailer you have to close this one up okay close that one up almost forgot so just tap this in slowly like so and there's a switch here if you want to take it off you have to pull this down to take the body off like so so everything is secure and for the guns here, you can, uh, for myself, you can store it, uh, you can see there's a, there's a hand here, you can store if you're not holding it, why not, you have options, just do it like this, you can hide the, the, the gap on the leg section in here, it's a way as well, okay, it's, it's fully done for this party. 
and it's a very nice uh, mold, very nice figures. Although it's, uh, uh, yeah, of course the sticker is here, and it's not placing it uh, that correctly. A little bit of mis uh, placing a bit, but this size is quite okay. And the hands here, the sticker as well. And for the angle here, they also have the stickers. And the feet as well, they have small stickers here. And the back here is covered. Uh, for this mode here, for the gap, I think it's uh, quite okay. It's covered a bit here. There's a little bit of gap and for the leg section, but of course, this leg is visible. Okay. Very nice figure and for articulations, the head can go uh, 360, a little bit down. Okay, the hand 360 as well. And open this side here, and you can get all the way to the top there. Single jointed elbow over 90s. No, nothing on the arms and the uh, hands here, nothing at this waist. Okay, the leg can go all the way to the side, the back, okay, and the fun here, like so. Sw swivel, a little bit upper swivel, not very much, and uh, we have a very nice rocker for pivots, and a little bit the front and the back here. On and on, it's a very nice mode, for my opinion. Very G one ish. Let's uh, for the gun here. Can uh, take it out now. We can store it uh, combined into one big rifle for the hand. Okay, if you like so. Okay, for size comparison, let's uh, compare with the the IDW Prime. You can see it. It's slightly shorter with IDW Prime and it's shorter as well with Optimus Prime for MP size. Okay. Right. And final thought it's good figure. Uh, very, very uh, nice, even though it, lack of, it doesn't have the waist uh, joint or anything. But it still is a good toys and fully recommend it. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share, like, and subscribe as well. And you like all this goodie here, you can find it in our local store in One Toys, the one and only. And there you go, guys. Autobots, roll out!